Okay, class, this is a warm up session, and it'll be about 20 minutes. And the techniques that we're using today is imagery and questions. Now, first, we will see some of the images. And the images are of Jason Kelsey, the underdog expressions, and the Eagles' victory parade. Now, class, we'll see a picture, an imagery, imagery, imagery picture of Jason Kelsey at the victory parade. Look at him. Look at all the people around. And this is the way he was dressed. Awesome. Let's look at some of the images that he was talking about underdogs. We all know what an underdog is. Okay, let's look at underdogs. Look, they had these underdog masks. And it says, underdogs equal hungry dogs, equal fast dogs, equal victory dogs. And we noticed that as underdogs, they had masks, and those masks, they sold. Yes, underdogs. We all can say, what do we mean when we say an all underdog? It, here it says, someone who is expected to lose in a contest or a battle. So the Eagles were seen as an underdog, but they took advantage of being an underdog. And it's also important to know that even though the Eagles were underdogs, it's saying in football, anything is possible. They might have started out as the underdogs, but we all know they become the victorious dogs. The images that we just looked at are also idiomatic expressions that Jason Kelson used. Now, we have a list of idiomatic expressions, uh, and the ones that Jason Kelson used in his, his epic speech were sport idioms. Now, the vocabulary originally come from sports, but we're going to look at some idiomatic sports expression and their orig origin, their meaning, and examples of the sentences. We're only going to look at a few because of the time limit. Let's look at the first one, across the board. What was their, their, they originated from? Cards. Now, what is the meaning? Equal for everyone. Now, let's look, make a like, sentence, an example of a sentence. 10% raises for giving across the board. If you're working, you've heard that expression before. Let's look at another one. At this stage in the game, the original of that is, yes, any sport. What is the meaning? Yes, at this time. Give an example of a sentence. Nobody knows who is going to win the election at this stage in the game. Quite interesting. Let's look at this last one. Yes, blindsided. It came from American football. What is the meaning? To not see something coming. Ooh. Let's look at a sentence by an example. George blindsided Eric with his fist 
at the bar. Eric didn't see George's fist coming. We now we will watch a short video of the Eagles' victory parade and Jason Kelsey's epic speech. And following the video, you will be paired. And there are four pairs, and each pair will get a question related to the video. Each person in the pair will give an answer to the question in one minute. A student could volunteer to write their response here on the uh, whiteboard. Before we do the pairs, let's look at the terms that Jason Kelsey used in his speech. Let's go over them. Underdog. What? Top dog. Hungry dog. Woo! Freaking yes. Clown. Yes, bleep. And what's the next? Civic pride. Okay. These are expressions that Jason Kelson used. Hungry dog, underdogs. A what? Hungry dogs. And hungry dogs do what? run faster. That's almost true. If a dog sees some food or something and he's hungry, he will run faster. All right. Now we will watch the video clip before you pair, eat together, and get your question. I'm going to talk to you about underdogs. I know Lane and Chris just talked about this, but I don't think that it's been beat home enough. Okay, we have four pairs, and your answer to the question must be a complete sentence. You will get a grade for this, but we also have a bonus po bonus question, which you will get an additional five points for if you answer it. Okay, the pair one, your question is, yes, do you like parades? Yes, why? Or why not? Yes. Pair number two, yours. Can you name some type of parades you know about or have watched? And I'm sure you've watched parades at Christmas time, on holidays. So you can talk about this question. Also, pair number two, do you know the purpose of some parades? I don't think we talk too much about the purpose, but there generally is a purpose for every or reason, purpose or reason for some parades. Okay, pair three. Give your opinion about the Eagles Parade. You all have watched the video from it, so uh, you can have an opinion. And also, have you ever thought about how did the parade benefit the fans? This is a good one. Do you know someone who purchased the underdog masks and you could buy them on uh, Amazon.com, different places, uh, on, on the web, even Google? Tell us about your opinion about the masks. And 
As we close out, know that sport idioms are used when discussing sports, but they are also common in other areas of life, in the business world, schools, work, and social events. Thank you for participating in this warm-up session. Dr. Z.